Four years ago, I created a course on Udemy called Power Automate Crash Course. Today, that course has more than 33,000 enrollments and close to 10,000 reviews with rating of 4.7. So I call it a success and still today, that's my best selling course among all the courses that I have on my Udemy arsenal. But four years is a long time when it comes to technology. So it was about time to have an upgraded version of the same course. Things have changed quite a bit. So just patching that course with the new updates, well, does not cut it. So here's a new one. The new course involves Copilot, AI Builder, and new designer, and you know what? Let me show you the course roadmap, then you decide whether this course is the right course for you. By the way, you can have this course for free. So stay with me and I will tell you how. The course is released in December 2024, so it's well up to date for 2025 year. It has 10 sections, 66 lectures, and close to 10 hours of course. So I was a little bit ashamed to call it a crash course. Now, let's see what is inside it. Here is the course roadmap. This is a beginner level course. It assumes that you have no clue what Power Automate is and you just want to start, but it takes you all the way to AI features and everything that you can do with the AI builder and some advanced features. No surprise, it's almost 10 hours. The course starts with what is a Cloudflow and what it can do. So a very basic introduction of the bare minimum flow that you can make. After that, we get into flow triggers and types. Flow types are defined by triggers. By the way, we only work with the cloud flows. I'm not getting into business process flow. I have quite a few lectures in my model driven app course. Here we only talk about different cloud flows. Then we talk about variables and arrays in Power Automate and how you can work with the data. Then we are going to connect our flow to external data. In this work, I stick to SharePoint and email, mainly because of the licensing, assuming that most of my audience don't have premium license for Power Automate. After learning how to connect, we want to understand the flow control actions like branch, condition, switch, and things like that. And then we work with the child flows, for which you need to learn quite a few tips to put the flows together and make one flow call another one. And at that level, we fail until we learn about flow security. So halfway through the child flow lecture, we need to go back to the flow security so that we can come back and complete what is not working here. Later, we are working with Excel data. Working with Excel data is pretty much like working with SharePoint data, but assuming that Excel is used everywhere and lots of people need it, I have a little bit more emphasis on working with Excel data. Up to this point is Power Automate Flow Basics. Now we want to get into working with AI Builder. And working with AI Builder is pretty much like working with ChatGPT, but you can structure the data that it returns. This section is the beauty of this course. I'm extremely excited about this AI Builder. I think this is the future of the flow development, and I want you to put lots of attention on that one. And finally, the part that I really don't like, which is letting Copilot do the boring parts of building the flow. And trust me, after this course, you will be a lot more capable than Copilot that is sitting right beside you in the Power Automate Designer. But Copilot is getting smarter and smarter, so if you don't catch up with whatever you're working with, probably someday Copilot is going to be better than all of us. Till then, we have a job. And after we are done, guess what? We need to celebrate. And if you have taken my previous courses, you know what it means. I'm not going to talk about it at this stage. Now, to get a taste of what this course looks like, if you open the course page on Udemy before even enrolling in the course, you can click on any one of these previews. But if you are a beginner, you may want to start with building Power Automate and see what is going on or the roadmap or things like that. But if you have already worked with Power Automate and you want to see what you can get when it comes to AI components, here is a sample chapter of working with GPT and AI prompts inside Power Automate. This is going to give you a taste of where this course is going to take you. Now, in the beginning, I said you can take this course for free. Well, the free course is not for everybody. You can get this course for free if you have already completed at least one of my courses before. And by that, 
I mean, if you go to my public profile on Udemy, I have a list of 14 courses in the past. Almost any one of them, if you complete the course, you will get a certificate from Udemy. I want you to take a screenshot of that certificate. And I said, almost, because this one course, because it's a free course, does not give you certificate of completion. So after you get the screenshot of your certificate, now you need to post this certificate under the comments in my LinkedIn post related to this promotion. The direct link to this post is in the video description. Just click on it. You'll be here. Go to the comments section and add your comment with your certificate attached to it. I will get back to you with a free course coupon for building Power Automate cloud flows faster with AI. And finally, Christmas is right around the corner. New Year is coming and depending on which part of the world you live, you may have long holidays or you may not. Regardless, you may decide to travel, you want to stay home, you want to party, meet friends, or you may pick the boring option of following your New Year resolution and staying home, learning Power Automate, AI Builder, and Copilot Studio. Well, I don't want to judge you, but if you decide to pick the last option, you have the material and you know how to spend your holidays. I'll see you soon on Udemy.